Morning show. We're continuing the conversation again, speaking about trade license units, their role and function, guidelines and procedures for imports and export of goods, and a little bit more. Joining us in studio is Sandra Peter Sarabjad, the acting chief trade officer, to really get into the details. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning, Natasha, and good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. How are you today? Fine, thanks. It's wonderful to have you with us on the show for a conversation that I think is a bit overdue. Yes, to be honest yes. with you, when it comes to the trade license unit, um, many, if we do know or we have heard, we're not too sure exactly what takes place and others haven't heard. So can you give us a breakdown of the unit? All right. So the trade license unit is really a department of the Ministry of Trade and Industry. Mm -hmm. As you know, trade and industry is one of the frontline government ministries. This unit, as other units within the ministry, supports the ministry's mandate. As you know, that is to promote business, trade, industry, and of course, to facilitate investment. Mm -hmm. So our unit promotes, supports that mandate by administering government policies as they relate to specific laws. So essentially, it's an implementation type unit mm -hmm. implementing government policies. The laws that we um, administer policies that are related to those laws are in respect of the imports and exports control regulations of 1941. Mm -hmm. In particular, the import and export negative lists, uh, okay. a term that we are all very familiar with historically to, mm -hmm. to present day. The, the negative lists are part of that piece of legislation, that piece of law. In addition, we administer policies as it relate, as they relate to the third schedule of the Customs Act, and we'll talk a bit about that um, in a bit, as well as the newly developed and implemented Scrap Metal Act of 2022. Um, <laughs> as you know, that is very recent legislation yeah. and the circumstances that compelled, you know, that modernized legislation is well, you know, out there in, in the public domain. Additionally, we have responsibility for managing and regulating two key industries. Of course, emanating from the Scrap Metal Act would be the scrap <coughs> metal industry being one of them. And of course, the imported used car industry, also known as the foreign used car industry. Mm -hmm. So our services is from a policy perspective as well as a direct intervention into two critical industries. And these are a lot of services. Are there any other services that are offered? Well, we'll get to the services. As the name says, trade license units. So that tells you our primary responsibility, our primary service provision would be in the issuance of licenses. So we issue licenses for items on the negative lists. Now, let me just elaborate a bit about the negative lists. Yes, please do. Because we would have been familiar with a negative list from many years mm -hmm. ago. And we know, we think of it as something overwhelming, overpowering, you know, it, we would have thoughts that, uh, you know, these are things we can't have, but we can have them. We can trade with them, we can import them, we can export them, but they are regulated in a sense. Now, you may not be aware, but goods when you import and export are subject to a licensing regime. Okay. So, but it just happens, so in most cases, you are able to import it, you are able to export it. It's under an open general license. Mm -hmm. However, there are certain exceptions to that open general licensing system. And those exceptions, the goods which constitute those exceptions, are negatively listed, okay. implying that there must be some criteria and some fulfillment of that criteria for those goods to be traded, whether it be from an import perspective or an export perspective. And such goods require a special license. And that is one of our service that we provide and it means service. The, ne the items, I will just briefly you know, elaborate on it, give some details. It includes things like livestock, oils and fats, fish, crustaceans, mm -hmm. mollusks, ships and boats, pesticides, hazardous waste, ozone depleting substances, road motor vehicles. So it's not a very lengthy list, right. but there are a number of items. So those items require a license. So that's one type of license. Secondly, we issue licenses such as duty relief licenses, mm -hmm. The holders of those licenses are able to enjoy import duty exemptions for 
approved purposes such as industry, mining, agriculture on critical inputs into their production and also equipment that helps in their production process. And of course, we manage the two industries that I mentioned, the used car, foreign used car industry through a registered dealership system, a quota system, and we ensure compliance to certain set standards that we ascribe for the industry. And the scrap metal industry is managed by ensuring the operators are licensed, the way they conduct business is in conformance with the law, as well as to provide the guidelines and laws relating to the export of scrap metal. Now, there are a lot of services that are offered and a lot of things that are overseen as well by this unit. What would yes. you say is the one that's most popular with the public? So very popular would be used cars. Mm -hmm foreign used cars, whether they are for personal use, so as an individual you may wish to import your vehicle, or you may be one of our registered dealers who would be importing vehicles for trade use, as well as companies, businesses may, you know, import vehicles for company use. So vehicles, use motor vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, form a big chunk of the work that we do. Another popular service would be the export of scrap metal, and then there are some consumable items, such as importation of AC units and refrigerators. Um, those require licenses because they are all outfitted with refrigerants, okay. and as you know, those are ozone depleting substances. We have obligations under the Montreal Protocol to adhere to. Wonderful. So those are some of the more popular ones. Okay, interesting. Um, I know some have been asking actually about that, particularly with those that are refrigerants as well. So thank you for bringing that up. Yes. Now, as you mentioned, the first one was, um, as we would say, foreign used cars. Yes. So let's speak a little bit about the public awareness campaign that has been rolled out already. Yes, so we started a public awareness campaign since the beginning of this year. We have been um, doing some public awareness via the media, we are, you know, at the various television stations um, bringing awareness to our public campaign. Now, the, the public campaign has its genesis in the number of requests that we get for information, mm -hmm. which we totally welcome. Because at the end of the day, the public awareness campaign is aimed at ensuring that business is conducted in a very easy and efficient manner. So the more information and more direct information, uh, you know, a, a client, a stakeholder is provided with would enable them to be able to conduct their business in an efficient and effective manner. So public awareness is one, is geared towards that end as one of its primary reasons. Secondly, we have noted a lot of misinformation out there in terms of how you can import items on the negative list. So this is intended to ensure that all consumers are well equipped with the information, they are outfitted with the tools to ensure that their import-export process is a very easy one, Absolutely. all right? Mm -hmm. And we have also noted a number of incidents with respect to uh, you know, some fraudulent activities related to the imported used cars and accessing those vehicles. So the campaign is geared towards ensuring that you are provided with that information to make informed choices. Now, kudos to the entire team for bringing this public awareness campaign forward. And thank you for the work that you do and continue to do. And we look forward to having you back on the show soon for a further discussion. Thank you. It's been our pleasure. Speaking about a public awareness campaign that is coming up and the trade license unit role and function, you can get more information at tradeind.gov.tt. This is the Now Morning Show. We'll be back right after this break. It's time.